Salutations, it's your boy Six Sense, Passion Underground in this bitch. Shout out to all my dwellers watching on YouTube land, and please subscribe. Uh, before I get into the blog today, I just wanted to give a big shout out to my homie Big Baby Gandhi, who announced today that he'll be retiring from rap, uh, which is really surprising to me. I thought he had a very, very promising future, and uh, as a fan of his body of work, it really, really sucks to see him go, so, you know. Big shout out to the Greed Head crew, and uh, hold your head up, homie. I hope everything is well. I know how difficult this hip hop thing can be, and this music thing can be, and you're a bright dude, so I'm sure you've got a thousand things set up for you to do. Um, and you know, hopefully one day you'll come back to this boom bap because it damn sure sounds better with you in it. Um, so really quickly, I just wanted to give a thank you to everybody that came out last night to Bia. Uh, myself and my homie Alex of the Raider Clan had our first night there last night together uh and you know kind of what i said would happen happened in my last video i talked a lot about having a wide library when you're going into situations that you don't know much about and bia was definitely that kind of uh that kind of vibe i walked into the spot and was immediately shocked at how big it was um and it had a decent crowd in there already when i got there so going up into the booth i wasn't really really sure what to play it was a very mixed mixed crowd uh, and Alex and I had discussed doing a lot of hip hop, a lot of old school hip hop. So that was a majority of it early on. But it was one of the first venues in, in Williamsburg, especially where I was able to slip into stuff like Flying Lotus and Eprom and, and Branches and some of the beat scene stuff that I wouldn't necessarily be able to play in other spots. So I definitely had a really, really good time there. Um, and it's also really beneficial when you have a venue like that that has a, a DJ booth that is actually above the rest of the, the space. Because you can see the entire room, you can see which parties are getting drunk quicker and who's nodding their head to what. And aside from that, you, you don't have to deal so much with requests. You know, it was a separate booth, so you can really, really uh, take people on the musical journey that you want them to go on. So BO is a huge success, it's a great venue, and I just got word today that we'll be back there in two weeks and we'll be doing a residency there going forward after that. So I'm looking forward to seeing you guys uh, in, in two weeks and every Friday after that. And be a, it should be a blast. One quick announcement for the upcoming week. On Thursday, I'll be at Cocktail Bodega Underground in the Lower East Side. I cannot stress enough how ill this room is. Uh, this will be my second time here, my third time with this particular promoter and, and, and group. Uh, it's a very, very strong team. These guys really, really love electronic music. This space was actually built with electronic music in mind. And, you know, some of you may know Cocktail Bodega as a bar and, and, and you know, the restaurant that's upstairs. And don't even realize that downstairs is one of the illest rooms in New York. You know, I, I really kid you not when I say the sound is top notch. The lasers are top notch. The graffiti that was done as an art installation looks amazing. It's it's just a really, really good vibe. And uh, the last time we, we had that room bumping, so I'm looking forward to it again. Uh, I'll be paired with Winston Filet and my homie Fuego Beats, who's an amazing, uh, you know, trap and Moonbaton DJ. He's out of Florida. He's up in New York now. I fuck with him heavy. So if you're looking for something wild to do this Thursday, if you're a bass head like me and my homies are, if you want something that has that real old school New York rave vibe, Cocktail Bodega Underground this Thursday. It is a free party. It's going on all night. You've got four of the hardest DJs playing in the LES uh, in one night, and it's going to be an absolute blast. So I hope to see you guys there. And that's about it for today. Um, I should be going to Connor's Rubber Track Studio this week to try to do some work for this passion tape, get some mixing done. So hopefully I'll be able to take you guys there with me and uh, show you a little bit of the behind the scenes in the Converse Studio where a lot of the passion hits were, were at least started or mixed or made. Uh, again, it's DJ Six Sense. Passion is always the crew underground. Shout out to my dwellers. Please subscribe and hit me up with a comment, man. Let me know how you guys are feeling, what you're listening to, and how your day is going. Follow me at DJ Six Sense on Twitter and on Facebook at uh, facebook.com slash DJ Six Sense. Much love from Brooklyn. Peace.